Sergeant Hostetter was assigned to the Red Bull Division of the 168th Infantry Regiment of the 34th Division. After landing in Africa, he climbed a watchtower to relieve a soldier on duty. He noticed enemy movement in the distance and after confirming that with his binoculars, he asked the soldier how long the enemy had been on the move. The soldier replied, all morning, sir. When asked if he had reported the movement, the soldier replied, no, they weren't harming anything. Shortly after, Sergeant Hostetter and others were captured by Rommel's army, 17 February, 1942, Tunisia, North Africa. At the time, the sergeant was 22 years old. The sergeant was flown to Italy and then transferred to Germany by a boxcar train convoy. Sergeant Hostetter was held at Stalag 3B, and then he was later transferred to Stalag 7A. In all, the sergeant remained a POW for 27 months. Excerpts from the diary of Sergeant Alvi Hostetter are from 1945 at the time of his liberation. April 21st, 1945. The Jerry left our camp this morning on a dead run. Why? The Russians were on their tail. Our company was called down to the parcel hatch to keep the French and others from looting our food, and food was pretty scarce too. April 22nd. We saw our first frontline Russian soldier today. Boy, I mean they look as rough as they are, and they are plenty rough. They pulled in with tanks. Six by sixes broke down the fence of the Russian POW compound they took out. We are stable here. April 23rd, 1945. Things are calmed down a little now. I went to the Russian chapel, which was constructed by hand and a beautiful piece of work. The one that done all of the painting went blind and passed away. Still here. April 24th, still here. April 25th, still here. April 26th, still here. April 27th, 1945, decided to go to town, Buchenwald, nearest our camp. Got a home to stay in, was taken in by a Russian officer's order and given one of the quickest shaves ever had or care to. By the way, it was a straight edge. April 28th, in town again. May 4th, 1945. Took off from Stalag to GI Front. Was looking for chow in a farm. Russians picked us up. Scrub was a flyer. May 5th. Started from Jitterbog for Wittenberg, 0800, where the GIs linked with the Russians. Got in Elster, 12.30 a frog fed us. All the steak we could eat and a bed to stay in. May 6th, off again for Wittenberg, 20 kilometers, got in. GI coffee and white bread. Got here in Heidelsheim Airport, don't know when we will leave for Le Havre. I hope tomorrow. May 8th, 1945. We are here at the airport yet, but are eating real American chow. Today is victory day. What a day. May leave tomorrow. May 9th. Did not get off today, was not many planes in. I think the pilots were taking a little time off, which I can't blame them. May 10th, 1945. Well, we got a plane today for Le Havre. And here we are. When we just got off the plane, we had coffee and donuts. The first ones in two and a half years. They say we will be here three to 15 days. May 11th. 1945. We are still here, but there are thousands of men coming in. This is one of the largest camps I've ever seen. It is an airport. The rumor has it they will fly men home along with taking them home by boat. We will probably spend our full days here, or at least the biggest share of it.